all day, but it probably doesn't look like it because I still look like a ghost. But hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Camilla and today we're watching part seven of the Masters of the Air. I love this show so much. It has been so chaotic, depressing, yet joyful, yet heartbreaking. I also have a lot of hope. I do have a lot of hope. Last time around, you should have probably seen our reaction before watching this one. The last time around, we finally found out that Gail Clevin, also known as the Buck, is alive. We are all in Germany right now. Not all of us. Rosie's not. And Cross is not. But I'm so excited to be watching more because now we're in Germany. And it seems like they want to try to run away, escape, you name it. With no further ado... My full reaction is over on Patreon. All my social media links down below. Same with my gaming channel. Yeah, let's get into Masters of the Air. And because we had their downed pilots in our camps, they treated our boys humanely enough. It was cold and miserable. Their diet consisted of potatoes and turnips year-round. But they had access to hygiene, amenities, books, music. All they really wanted was news from the front to give them hope that one day soon they would be going home. Cross is having trouble getting mail into the camp. Kitty, kitty, kitty. She's going your way, Hammy. Kitty, kitty. <laughs> what is happening? Karma. It's right there. Spare some water. Now we have a pet. That is nice. Oh. We haven't seen meatball in a while. Rabbit. Yeah, uh, sure. There's been lots of stray rabbits running around under our combine. <laughs> Use the bucket. Gosh. Protein. The only kind we're gonna get until those Red Cross parcels show up. Let's get a move on, boys. Almost news time. Brass is here. Fellas, let's go. Where's the smell? Hurry up. Let's go. Wrap it up. Come on, fellas. Quick. Hiding everything so well. Come on. That is a Jewish name, yes? Let's go. Let's go. To my bed. That is scary. Oh. Oh, and now they're looking at everything we have. Oh, shit. Sorry, language. Yeah, same. But they didn't get the head phone. Well, thank God for small miracles. Oh. I feel like I'm going to be a nervous wreck throughout this entire episode because there's going to be a lot of stuff happening, I feel. It was understood in early 1944 the invasion of Europe was imminent. The 100th Bomb Group would play its part. More missions into Germany meant more casualties. More casualties meant more replacements. He said that we are currently in the early 1944, which means that D-Day hasn't happened yet because D-Day is happening in the summer, in June. Some guys were reluctant to get to know the new fellas. We most likely will experience it in this series, yeah. It's good to have you guys here. Showers at noon. Why don't I come back? I'll take you boys over there. Welcome to the 100th. Thanks, sir. It's you. We thought Sergeants Quinn and Bailey were among the many casualties over Regensburg, but thanks to the French and Belgian resistance, they were back at Thorpe Abbott's. Let's go! Lucky for them, there was a rule that if a downed flyer made it out of occupied Europe, he wasn't allowed to fly any more missions. Because if a flyer got shot down again and was captured or tortured by the Gestapo, they knew too much about the escape routes. The lucky bastards got a ticket home. You're gonna request Florida, Texas? I've already been to Texas before my tour. Training pilots in Florida sounds better. <laughs> It'd be good for you to show the new guys the 25 can really get done. That's the problem with being kicked out to operations. I hardly ever get a chance to fly. I heard he was the only pilot to make it back from Bremen out of 18 ships. It was Munster. Yeah. Rosie's the best pilot I've ever seen fly a B-17. Ever. 
You pray to God you can fly half as good as him. You might make him 25 too. Your crew's on stand now for this one. You know, when I was a kid, I built a homemade crystal radio. I'm thinking of giving it a try in here. Won't be as good as our old one, but might work good enough. Copper wire, graphite, safety pin. It's gotta be for the wind, right? There we go. That sounds about right. It's Berlin or it's environs. You hear that? <laughs> it's Berlin. <laughs> Goddamn Monday, I do <laughs> Do you think the hundreds with them? You got him. That's a lot closer. Help! He shot it for no reason. He slid it bad. We need to get him a doctor. That's not how we put pressure. Harry was in block. Why did they shoot? Now, back inside. Dead. Go back inside. Now. These goddamn goons are gonna take us out one at a time, bro. As our missions piled up and became more perilous, it seemed that that damn red mission light never blinked off. Then we were told we were targeting Berlin. Every man on base held his breath as we waited to see just how dearly it would cost us. Four, five, six, seven. How many did they send out? Six. Christ. It's 15 down. Mm. Yeah. That is not what I expected. I was like, oh, so many came back. But never mind. Stand by for another one inbound. Let's get a crew on it. Wow, this really never triggers me because of I work in the field, but. Known as Black Monday because of how many men were lost that day. 150 of them were from the 100th. They took a direct hit in the cockpit. Monitor and Kinsella must have been killed instantly. At least I hope for their sake they were. Imagine the chaos and Rosie's crew were told to be on standby. Harrison had to take evasive maneuvers not to get hit by it. Then it, it nosedived on their 25th. They killed them all, every last one of them. As our crews got younger, our casualties climbed and the morale on base plummeted. <laughs> I decided to call Sandra. I told myself all I wanted was someone to drink and laugh with, but then I called her a second time and a third. Cross, what the f what what the f Cross has a wife. Oh. I mean, I saw how he was looking at her in the past episode, but I was like, "Oh, good thing you didn't do anything." Good. Mail call! Okay, uh, Murphy. Murphy. Hamilton. And Clemens. Did you get mail here? Wow. Mail call! It's from my mom. Is yours from Buck? Marge. Marge. Oh, you are not a Crosby. I love Buck. <laughs> Last letter I sent before we oh. got the question. You did? She said yes. <laughs> of course she did. So? It's great. Uh, that is great. Congratulations. I was even thinking maybe you'd be my best man. You guys need to get out of there. We need to get them out of there. March 7th. Okay, yeah, so before D-Day. Oh no! Because if they get out of here, they need to go through that. And then the wedding's off. Unless everyone survives, but I don't think that. Mars mission. Berlin again? Jack, it's the same room. Exactly like yesterday. They don't care if they kill us all, do they? Seem like it now. Yankees trade DiMaggio? This weather gets better. What do you say if you and I, we made our move? The odds of getting out of here alive and in one piece are 30 to 1, 40 to 1, 50 to 1. Oh, I hope so. Don't you want to eat something more than potatoes? I mean, we can wait here doing nothing. Is that what you want to do? No, I can't stand this place any more than you. He's been there longer too. Lieutenant! Now, for those of you unaware, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Bennett, the new CEO of the 349th Squadron. Okay. I've been placed in temporary command of the entire 100th Bomb Group. Okay, we have a new one. The target for today is Berlin. Yeah, that's true. For a ball bearing plant. Jesus, that's the exact same route as Monday. And now people know that they're all dying. Oh, 
Major Jones, you're exactly right. But I'm not a man to order anyone. On any mission, I won't fly myself, so I will be command pilot for the entire wing. Your mean point of impact will be here, in the heart of Berlin. You can do it, Rosie! You can show them the 25 can actually get done. We only had 15 planes left to send up. The exact same number the Germans shot down two days earlier. It didn't take a mathematician to figure out the odds were pretty bad for Rosie and his crew to make it back from their 25th mission. Don't say that. I have hope. And I'm sure you'll bring her back to me the same way. Probably not the same way, but we'll try. All right, boys, huddle up. Oh, Rosie. You know the drill. You boys worry about the guns, I'll worry about the plane. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pray for us, sinners. Now, and at the hour of our death, Hail Mary, full of grace. Our chances of defeating the Luftwaffe were increased by the introduction of the P-4. I wonder how many civilians lost their lives to bombings during World War II. Escorted by the Mustangs for the entire mission, the odds were starting to shift in our favor. There's a whole lot of fighters at 2 o'clock level. Are they friendly? I can't tell. Can anyone ID these fighters? Over. They're crowds! Ah! I can't get a shot at them! They're kicking up the 45th! And here we go. <laughs> I see P-51s coming in to help. All turn to pilot. I have green green flares from Colonel Bennett's ship. Over. We're over for a win, but I think we missed our turn for the IP. Two five three. Repeat two five three. Eyes open for crowd fighters. They know where we're headed. We are under Colonel Bennett's command, turning with him to the target. Over. We have fighters at eleven o'clock. P fifty ones coming in fast. Get ready, boys. Our fighters are gonna punch us through. You ready to drop? Bombardier to pilot. Roger. Bombs away. Um. Talking about civilians, guys. There! East by southeast! Are there any numbers on that? Leave them down below. I know you guys are so good at this. What do you say, Pappy? Huh? You did it, Rosie. We did it. 25. We're going home. <laughs> Don't say that until you landed the plane. <laughs> Too close! Last chance to buzz the tower. Paint those sea ones your favorite color because you're going to be seeing a hell of a lot of them once I get home. She said nothing because her mother was on the goddamn phone, too. That's awkward. Jack, why so blue, huh? Brass is upping the end of tour requirements from 25 to 30 missions. Only for new replacement crews coming out there next week. Any crew in between will have to make 28. You and your boys are off the hook, Rosie. Oh, thank God. But they're off the hook. Yeah, but that sucks for everyone else. At least you'll make it out of this more alive. I mean, changing the rules on us mid game? That's bullshit, Jack. <laughs> Good to see you again. You too. Oh! Yes, you have. Sandra, you know he has a wife. I'm also pissed on her. I have missed you terribly. And I just want to know where you've been. Do you want to know where I've been? Or do you want to know where I will be in 20 minutes? 20 minutes? What the f Sharing those arms. I do not vibe with this at all. Ross, you have a wife. You've been saying how much you love her. It's conduction. Maybe there's some glue residue or oil or dirt or something getting in the way of the current. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I got some. It's German. Some music. Hold on. How does he know how to make that? Yeah, yeah. BBC. Give me some paper. Yesterday, Berlin took the heaviest bombing of the war, splitting the crowd army in two. The repeated strikes on Berlin took a tremendous toll on the hundred. My friend Rosie understood this very well, but he had completed his 25th mission. He had done his duty, and now he could go home. I don't think he wants to go home. Wow, we've been here a while now. 
Where the hell are they going? It's the news, boys. He doesn't look happy. 70, maybe 80 men made it out. Colonel believes there'll be severe reprisals as more senior officers in the SS and Gestapo become aware of the magnitude of the escape. Maybe, but I can't help thinking you were right. Better to play it safe. The hell am I rushing back home for? Other guys get letters, you get letters. You get a letter, you need someone to get it from. I write you a letter, Bucky. I write you several. It's just this place, Tom. I'm tired. I am tired. There's only plenty of time for that when you get out. Just set it up right next time. You're only gonna know this me, not the old me. Me before I got here. This you will be the one worth knowing. Symbolite wants him in his office. Now. Because of this great escape attempt, Commandant von Lindeiner has been relieved of all duties. Most of the escapees have been recaptured. But I regret to inform you that 50 of the recaptured escapees have been executed. There are orders for me to take an inventory of all Jewish prisoners of war at Stalag Luft 3. There are only Americans in Stalag Luft 3, Major Symbolite. Solomon. This is an outcome I think we would all like to avoid, yes? Your good behavior would be very much appreciated. Oh. So what do you think the odds are now? Of us making it home alive? Long. Very, very long. This doesn't look good at all. You wanna re-up? I told you! Now, I can't stop you, Captain. But don't you want to go home? Jesus, if anyone's earned a trip to Florida, it's you. How could I sleep at night knowing I get to go home while the brass up their numbers mid-tour? I can't imagine some Yankee coming to take my place. Getting himself and his crew killed on their first mission, and he gets replaced by another replacement and over and over and over again. Respect, Rosie. No, sir. I can't go home. Not yet. Not until the job is done. Oh, Angel. I see. Well, I feel you should at least make your decision based on all the information available. General Doolittle has ordered the air strategy to shift radically. The invasion will not continue as a threat. So we must act as before. And we could do that now with the new P-51s, which outflies and outperforms every plane the Luftwaffe controls. Damn. We have a chance? We need to get them in the air. We don't have a chance. Our armor. So that's the strategy. That's the mission. Bait. That is messed up. I understand too, but that is messed up. Okay then. So this is what it has become. You know, we could use a new commanding officer for the 350. You up for it? Yeah, I'm up for it. Okay then. Thank you, Colonel. We need to start preparing now. I covered the entire building. Plans are underway. So, Sandra's like a spy? Subaltern Whiskey gave me this number to reach her. Do you know any other country does better? Ah, what, you can't hit Hundreds of ships, thousands of men. You've never seen anything like it. Oh, boy. No, I'm not ready! Okay, guys, so I don't really have much to say, but I need an outro. So this was this episode. It seems so difficult for these people right now. I understand that we are getting closer and closer to D-Day. I don't know if D-Day... It didn't seem like it would be the next episode, so perhaps in the one after that, because this is Tom Hanks. And obviously, if you guys have seen the rest of the show, Pacific and Band Brothers, we follow D-Day. And I understand that it is basically leading up to this moment. The last date we saw was the 28th of March. And if you guys are aware, uh, June 6th is the date of the day. I am beyond excited to see it. I'm also terrified to see who we will lose because people died all over the place. There were so many people that got killed and died and so on d-day was a mess and we've seen that in tv shows we've seen that in movies i have read it in the books i've had about it in school it's like it is so chaotic and i don't know anything about 
the Air Force or how they went through it. So that is why I'm so excited to finally see this. Still in Germany with uh, John Egan and Gail Clevin. We are cheating on our wife. I am very excited to learn more about Sandra's character. Or not character, but her as a person. Because I'm not sure if I understand what she is. From seeing what it's going to be about in the next episode. I feel like we're going to dive more into her as a person. And I feel like she's kind of like a spy right now. Because she was dressing up. Seemed like she was in Germany. She was like searching areas and getting information. So yeah, she seems like a spy. So excited. Seems like a badass woman really trying to help her country and help the people and help everyone in general. Finishing this war. And... That is of a, a lot of respect. I have a lot of respect for these people, but right now, the only thing I don't have respect for is that we are cheating on our wife, Crosby. <laughs> Gosh darn it. She's writing you all these letters. You're talking about her all the time. You're talking about her to your friends, to your colleagues, to your crew, to people when you were traveling, talking about her to Sandra. And now we're like, oh, let's just uh, sleep with the other girl. No! Okay, anyways, I am just so invested. I'm so obsessed with this. I just want to devour it. That's it for today's part, guys. I will continue watching, but you have to wait until the next part. So make sure to subscribe to my channel, full reaction on Patreon, social media linked down below, my gaming channel in the corner, linked down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you at part 8. Bye, everyone.